How to treat fungal infections in fish. If you suspect your fish is sick, it could be because of a fungal infection. Fungal infections, such as Ciprolinia and Aquila infections, are common diseases in fish that typically occur if the fish has an injury or illness that weakens its immune system. They are highly contagious and can be fatal if not properly treated, so it's important to treat your fish quickly and thoroughly. If your fish gets a fungal infection, it's probably not life-threatening but it's important to treat it so you can keep your fish healthy and happy. Treating your fish. Set up a treatment tank. Get a small tank where your fish will have enough space to move around a bit. Add water and bring it up the temperature to 70 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit 21 to 25 degrees Celsius with an aquarium heater. Test and treat the water to eliminate any chlorine in the water and to make sure the pH balance is correct, just as you would with a IUM, greater than permanent aquarium. There you can monitor their behavior and treat it without polluting the rest of your aquarium. The treatment tank does not need to be as big as your permanent tank. A tank that is 10 to 20 gallons 38 to 76 L is typically plenty big for pet fish. The fish will only be there during treatment, which could be a few weeks, so they don't need as much room as normal. Separate any infected fish from uninfected fish. Take the sick fish out of their tank gently and put them in the treatment tank. Since fungal infections are extremely contagious, move your sick fish into the treatment tank as soon as possible. Even if all of your fish are infected, you should treat them in a temporary tank so that you can give their permanent tank a thorough cleaning while you are treating them. Even if all of your fish are infected, you should treat them in a temporary tank so that you can give their permanent tank a thorough cleaning while you are treating them. Add a fungal treatment to the water. Purchase a fungal treatment from your veterinarian or from a pet supply store. They in a tablet or liquid form and should be administered carefully. Follow all instructions and warnings on the package. In most cases, you will add the treatment medication to the treatment tank and then keep your fish in the water for a set amount of time. Commonly suggested treatments include malachite green, potassium permanganate, formalin, and povidone iodine solutions. In most cases, it's easiest to give a fish medication with this type of bath treatment. This is especially true when treating an infection the exterior of the fish's body. Give the infected fish a salt bath. Along with specific medication, salt baths can help fish with fungal infections. Add 1 tablespoon of aquarium salt per gallon of water in the quarantine tank. Next, mix until it has dissolved. Finally, add your fish and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes before removing it and replacing the salt water with clean, dechlorinated water. Some fish, such as tetras, do not tolerate salt baths very well. However, other common fish, such as goldfish, tolerate it well. You can continue to give your fish a salt bath every other day for a few weeks after recovery to ensure the infection is completely gone. Clean your fish quarantine tank every day or two. In order to maintain a clean, sterile environment while the fish is recovering, it's important to keep the temporary bowl clean. This includes scrubbing the side of the tank and changing out about 20% of the water for new, clean water. Add your fish back to its aquarium once the infection is gone. When you can no longer see the discoloration on your fish it's time to move it back to its permanent home. Make sure your fish is completely free of fungal growth, is swimming, eating, and acting normally, and has been given at least five days after the infection has receded to rest and recoup its energy before moving it. When putting your fish into the main aquarium, watch carefully in case your other fish show aggression. Monitor all other fish for signs of fungal growth or abnormal, uncharacteristic behavior during and after treatment. When putting your fish into the main aquarium, watch carefully in case your other fish show aggression. Monitor all other fish for signs of fungal growth or abnormal, uncharacteristic behavior during and after treatment. 